Well, when we were growing up, sex, drugs, and rock and roll were the big concerns in the teen years. Today's parents have a much dif different threat to deal with, the Internet. Cyberbullying, sexting, and social media are huge challenges for adolescents to navigate. But now there is a new book based on research at the UW School of Medicine and Public Health. It's called Sex, Drugs, and Facebook, A Parent's Toolkit. The book was written uh, by... Who is the, what is the author's name? Megan Moreno, but Sarah Klunk was part of the student researchers that helped put together the research for this book. Welcome, Welcome. to Live at Fives. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about your involvement in this project. So I'm one of the student researchers who helped to write the book. So we did a lot of studies that went into the advice that the book gives parents on how to handle um, you know, the internet with their teens. Mm -hmm. And so that was, I focused mainly on the role of communities and that they can play in internet safety. And I imagine one of the keys here is a conversation between parents and children. What, how do you go about that? Yeah, so that's kind of what this book is all about. We really want to try to start that conversation because, you know, the internet, it is a huge topic and a lot of times parents don't even know where to start. So we provide um, discussion starters, activities that you can do with your teen to kind of get the conversation rolling. Well, it's very timely because just today, Facebook announced that it relaxed its restrictions for teenagers. And now mm -hmm. kids from 13 to 17 can post any of their information publicly, not just right. for their friends. So it really is a slippery slope for, for parents to navigate with, with teenagers. Yeah, absolutely. And so that's why we really stress that it's about learning together and getting that conversation going to, so that you both know what's going on and you know things and so that the teen knows that you know everything will be public now and so did the parents. What, are there some warning signs parents should watch for if there's the ch child is getting in trouble on the internet? Well I think one of the biggest things that they can do is to sit down with their child and look at you know go through their profiles together ask them what sites they're using what platforms there are that they're using because there's you know hundreds so mm -hmm. it's just about having that conversation and going, you know, using the, you know, the typical parenting tips and applying that to the internet world. And so... Well, what if as a parent, though, you're not as social media savvy as your child? Do you right. have to get up to speed with this in order to, <laughs> to police it with your kid? No, no. I mean, a lot of the things are just about keeping information private and your team can tell you how to use, run the site. You know, that they can help you with. And so as a parent, you just need to watch out for, um, you know, is what they're doing safe? Can, do you think people will use what they're putting out there in a harmful way? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think it's, it's a must read for any parents in this digital age. Yeah, especially. It really does provide some great yeah. tips, great advice. Yeah. Sarah, thanks for being with us today. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Sarah. Good to see you. Yeah.